video is something really fun that I wanted to do. So I want to throw out as many really informative, helpful makeup videos as I possibly can. But this video is how to perfect a cut crease. So I'm sharing my tips and tricks that I've learned over the last few years, why I use certain brushes and basically different techniques, tips and tricks and products that I can share with you that will help you to nail that cut crease. Okay, so I just went ahead and done one eye off camera just so you can kind of get an idea of what we're going for. This kind of like mermaid inspired look. Um, it doesn't really matter what colors you want to do your cut crease. You don't have to even do a multicolored one. It's more about the technique and why I'm using um, the shades of shadows that I'm using and brushes, etc. Starting off, I've already primed my eye using the Anastasia Eye Primer, my favorite eye base um, to use. I love it because it creates a nice blank canvas. It gets rid of any like little veins, discoloration that I have on my lid. Or 20 from Rebelluna, and I'm literally just gonna pop that all over the eye. Be using the Be Perfect XL Carnival Palette. I absolutely love this palette. It's got so many different colors in it. So that's what I will be using today. And I'll be sticking to these kind of like bluey turquoisey colors so first things first whenever i'm doing like an instagram makeup look like a cut crease or a spotlight eye i always go straight onto a tacky base with my shadows this just means that i get the most pigmentation out of the eyeshadows that i place on the eye if you set your eye base mix in powder with powder and you get a more diluted eyeshadow color so i like to keep my colors really nice and intense so I like to go straight on to a tacky base. Okay, so first shade I'm gonna go in with is Lights Out, which is this black here from the palette. I like to take a little bit of black on a very small brush and press it right into my crease and kind of just have it where I'm gonna cut my crease. I just find that it deepens up my cut crease and means that I get a really nice intense color behind my cut crease, which I personally prefer. I find it makes the cut crease stand out a little bit more. Taking a flat shader brush, something like this, and what I'm going to do is I'm literally just dipping into the shadow, not swirling, just dipping. You only want to use a tiny amount of black. Using too much black, it can kind of take over the looks using small bits at a time. So getting my little handheld mirror and I'm going to kind of look right down into it so I can see my natural crease. And that's where I'm going to start applying this black shadow. So I always like to stick with a kind of C shape whenever I am doing makeup on myself, like eye makeup. Um, I just find it the most flattering eye shadow shape for myself. So you basically want to go, like kind of keep it nice and close to your lash line here. You want to go and go up and then you want to come back down. So you're literally keeping it in a C shape. Just taking small amounts of that black shadow and you want to start building it up nice and slowly. So I've gone in a few times and really kind of built up that black shadow, making sure to bring it all the way in so that when I go to cut my crease, there's an actual shadow there um, to kind of cut into. I want to make sure that I can see it when my eyes are open. So just looking straight in to a mirror and I can see that the black shadow is brought up high enough. Because I have hooded eyes, if I didn't bring my black shadow or any of my shadows up high enough, when I go to cut my crease, there's gonna be nothing there to cut because everything has to be done that little bit higher when you have hooded eyes. Otherwise, your eyes just look quite small and closed off. So I want to make my eyes look nice and big and look like I have more of a lid than I actually do. I like to have a little bit of tissue or kitchen paper beside me and I just kind of like to swipe over and back just to take the excess off my brushes and um, what I'm going to do is the exact same brush that I used for the black I'm going to just tap very lightly over the edges of that black shadow and this kind of helps to start diffusing the edges so the next shadow I put on top it kind of automatically creates a really nice fade Going in with the shade Nook from the palette, which is a really nice kind of turquoisey bluey green. And I'm taking that on an SK02 brush, which is one of my absolute favorite brushes from Kaylee's Urban Rabble collection. And what I'm going to do with this shadow is I'm going to just tap over the very edges of that black. So you're kind of keeping half on that black, half off. And just tapping over the edges, making sure that you're keeping in your C shape building that color up okay so i built up that shade nook a little bit and i'm really happy with how it's looking so far so next i'm going to go in with a mix of two shades i'm taking showboat and why though them two shades and i'm taking that on a little fluffy dome blending brush this is just from crown and it's one of my absolute favorite blending brushes so i'm literally mixing a little bit of both 
and I'm going to start to blend out the shade Nuke. So placing the brush half on Nuke, half off and just using little kind of over back circular motions to start blending that out. I feel like I've kind of lost some of the darkness up into my crease so I'm going to go back in with the first brush that I used and taking a little bit more of lights out and I'm going to start packing this back on exactly where I wanted to make sure that my crease is as dark as I possibly can get it. In my SK03 brush and the shade Nuke and right where that kind of black meets the rest of the shadows I'm going to start to buff that out a little bit more. These type of looks are literally kind of constantly adding the shadow, building the shadow up and blending it back out in order to get a really nice intense eye. Okay, so I spent some time going back and forth with the shadows and just really building them up to how I like them, making sure that when I look straight ahead, you can see the darkest shadows with my eyes open. Now it's time to cut my crease. So I like to use the Anastasia Eye Primer. Um, before I found the Anastasia Eye Primer, I used to use Inglot 76 Gel Liner. Because it is a gel liner, I find that it's not like liquidy or like real thin that it's gonna kind of give you a nice structured cut crease how I like them and um, but also I find that it doesn't allow your oils from your eyelid through as well which can kind of disturb your makeup that's why I love the Anastasia eye primer so much I know some people aren't like that gone on it but I think once you find out it works for you um, it's literally just a little gem and on to the brush so it's up to yourself what kind of brush you want to use I kind of tend to vary the different brushes that I use sometimes I may use either of these two brushes so these are the SK07 and the SK06 from the Urban Rebel collection today I'll be using the Rebeluna or 27 which is a concealer brush today I used it with duo glue to stick on glitter which is a terrible thing to do because it literally is impossible like duo glue is impossible to get out of your brushes but I've actually been delighted that I have done it because the bristles on this brush stay really nice and tight together and it's just become the perfect brush for doing my cut creases so I like to swipe the product over back in the eye primer just to make sure that both sides are covered in the eye primer and then looking down into my marrow I'm going to just kind of dot a good bit of the eye primer really close to my lash line you want to make sure that there's enough there that will actually transfer and then you can look up and that literally marks out where my crease is and just kind of make that a little bit higher because again I want to make sure that I can see it when my eyes are open a little bit more base And I kind of like to drag the primer across the eye. I know some people like to dot it, but I kind of prefer to drag it. So what we're doing here is literally just seeing like have I gone up high enough and given myself a rough stencil before I actually start to perfect it there's no point perfecting it at this stage if you then have to go up a little bit higher and I do like to kind of bring my cut creases just into my inner corner so once I have my cut crease kind of mopped out like that I'm fairly happy I can see it when my eyes are open it's not too high but it's high enough that my eyes look open I'm going to take whatever's left on my brush and I'm going to literally pat that all over the cut crease. So as you can see, I'm literally just after bringing my cut crease just over halfway across the eye or a little bit more than halfway. It doesn't matter if you bring it over a little bit too far because we are going to blend your shadows back in. So it's always best to bring it over a little bit too far than not have it over far enough and then blend your shadows in and basically your half, crease, half cut crease is gone. So you want to make sure that you pat your eye base evenly all over the half cut crease area so that whenever you put your shadows or your glitters on top that they go on evenly. So I cleaned off the excess on this brush and I'm now going to just literally 
pull back on the very outer corner and that's going to diffuse your eye primer and your shadows are going to blend really nicely in on top of it. If I didn't do that, what would happen is I would blend my eyeshadows in, they would stick to that harsh line and there would be literally no getting rid of it. So if you need to fix any little wobbly bits, so you can kind of see my lines gone a little bit funny here. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Nuke on a lip brush and I'm going to run that along. Start bringing these shadows back in. So going back in with my SK02 brush and I've mixed a little bit of light out with the shade Nuke. And I'm going to start tapping that right onto the outer corner. So next up then I'm taking Pep Talk from the palette, which is a really bright pink. And I am taking that on an Inglot 13P brush. And I'm going to press this on right where Nuke meets the rest of the eye primer. So using a little brush of this will give me precision. I don't want to use a brush that's too big because I want to make sure that I keep inside my cut crease. So that it doesn't get too messy and the lines don't get blurred. So literally just pressing this on for a little pop of colour. And bouncing that over the shade Nuke will kind of help to blend the two of them together. To set the inner part of my eye then, I'm taking Pillow Talk on a flat brush. And just very carefully pressing that on that part of the eye. And bouncing that over the pink so that they kind of start to blend into each other. So I have a little bit of Showboat and Nuke on this brush. Pop that right down where Nuke meets that pink, just to create a little bit more of a fade. So on a Rebelina or 27 brush, I have Nuke and Lights Out mixed on this brush. And I'm gonna run this right along my lash line as a kind of liner, without actually adding liner. So that's basically how the eye is looking so far. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. The glitter I'm gonna to add today is this loose glitter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is in the shade Flower Child. It's a really gorgeous glitter. It's got kind of like purpley blue reflexes in it. So it goes really well with this look. And I'm gonna mix that with the glitter adhesive also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm taking another flat concealer brush. This is an SK05 from the Urban Rebel Collection. I'm gonna bounce this right onto my eye. So I find the best way to work when you are using glitters like this is to kind of apply a little bit, let it dry and then go back in and add more. Um, and that's basically how you get a really good, nice glittery effect. But you can still see the blend of the eyeshadows um, going on behind it. Up in a little bit of Kiko Cosmetics Intense Colour Liner in the shade 16 into my waterline. It's the shade Lights Out, which is the black from the palette on a Rabelino or 27. And I'm just going to further smoke out that black. So now I'm going in with the shade Nuke and I'm going to blend out that black, basically using all the shades that we used on top underneath the eye to keep it nice and smoky and then making sure as well to connect the shadows here on the outer corner. Again, the lightest shade we used, white though, and buffing out the very edges and again connecting all that up here. So for my inner corner then, I'm layering up the shadow pillow talk, which is the white from the palette. So what I like to do is I like to just take whatever's left on the brush and slightly wing it up in here. Um, because I do find that it kind of opens up the eyes up. So that is pretty much the look finished. I just threw on a pair of the Faya lashes from Drugstore drugstore doll and um, you can find these on instagram these are without a doubt my favorite style of lashes they are really nice and dramatic but they're not really heavy and they don't cover up all of the eyeshadow either and um, that we're after spending time blending and applying so that there is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this little step by step on how i do my cut creases please do let me know in the comments down below if this video was somewhat helpful to you if you'll be recreating this look um, also make sure you tag me over on my Instagram I'd love to see your recreations if you have any other little videos that you would like me to focus on in depth then please do let me know you can also leave them in the comments down below and um, I will have a product list along with the brushes that I used in the description box as well and you can find more of my little tutorials and stuff like that over on Instagram because at the moment there is literally nothing else to do but play around with makeup which is great in a way 
Um, hopefully though everyone is staying safe and that things will return back to normal fairly quickly. Um, I will see you all very soon. Bye bye.